Hello, David here, and the project for today is replacing the Wi-Fi card on the Hewlett Packard Pavilion laptop. And I've been working with this external Wi-Fi card for several years, and the USB ports are experiencing occasional interruptions in service where you, you bump it and it loses connection. I tightened them up a little bit. I got a video on that. I'll put the link up here. But uh, even though the connection is better, it's still a nuisance. So I decided to replace the Wi-Fi card so I'll have an extra USB slot for my mouse. First thing to do is turn everything off, disconnect the power cord, remove the mouse cord, take out the Wi-Fi, flip it over, Take the battery out. You just push on this and it should pop out. See, one of these positions is locked and one's unlocked. There we go. Batteries out. You got to take those little rubber feet off at the front to get to those screws. It looks like there's no screw under there. And I need to check these covers. I think this might be covering a screw. That might be covering a screw. Got to take the uh, drive out. I believe what's holding the DVD drive in is this Phillips screw right here. This must be the access plate to the RAM. I think I could leave this plate on, so I'm just going to put it back in.
Okay, these ribbons have to come off. That's a Wi-Fi card right there. This is the antenna. Make sure I ordered the right part. I ordered the part with a matching part number that's imprinted on this chip, and that is 709505-001. And I was able to find one on Amazon, not a sponsor, and it's on its way. This is a good opportunity to vacuum all the dust out of here. The replacement part is in, and the part number matches up with the old part. Let's get it seated. I didn't notice it when I pulled these ribbon cables out, but there's a little, a little clamp on there. So you raise that little door, put the ribbon in, and then push the door down. This one popped out. I wanted to start it up before I snapped everything together to make sure that all the functions worked okay and the Wi-Fi card was working. And to my surprise, I wasn't getting a Wi-Fi signal, but I found out I had to turn it on manually, so I shut it down, started it up again, and 
sure enough it automatically started the Wi-Fi so looks like this project is a success now I could snap everything back together again and put all those little screws back in This is that little shiny screw that almost caused me to crack the case that's underneath the DVD drive right here. This little part I found inside the laptop, I don't know what it goes to, appears to be extra. as is this part. Don't know what that goes to. Okay, everything's back together again. I want to thank you guys and gals for watching. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and ring that bell for more great videos from David GPO. As soon as I remember to put the DVD drive back in.